So I had to ultimately get to a place where it was, do I love the potential of this promise fulfilled more than I love actually the presence of God? I was more focused on, God, when are you going to do that thing? When are you going to do the thing? I'm waiting for you to do the thing. And eventually, like, there came such a tension because the thing wasn't happening. And it forced me to have to, like, reevaluate, well, what is the thing? And ultimately, it landed me in a place where I had to decide, like, the thing is going to be waiting for this to happen or it's going to be falling in love with Jesus for real and giving Him my whole life and being willing to walk that road out no matter where it leads us. And so the seven, eight years prior to all of this, I was so surrendered. Like I had just really let that thing go and I was finally at a place where I was so content as just being like someone who served her family and raised her children and served at her church. And I wasn't trying suddenly to like, add another title to give myself value. And I think there's something really powerful about that because God's timing doesn't look like our timing. But I do think God's purpose is always the same, is that in our lives, we are giving Him the glory, that our story is about Him more than it's about us. And I think that at any point in your life, that God can do something really amazing and powerful when you're surrendered to say, I'm gonna tell your story. Maybe my story will be a part of that, but I'm really here to tell your story, God. And so I would say to that person that's waiting, hoping, wishing, like do some heart checks and make sure that the thing that you're really, really waiting for and hoping for is Jesus, because then he can entrust something greater into your hands. And for those that think, It's not going to happen. It's not possible. Well, I'm living proof that God can do whatever He wants to do, whenever, however. The package doesn't matter. The it's God has plans that we cannot mess up. And I just want to like encourage someone that like you can do everything in your power to stop the plan of God, but if it's His plan, it will happen, and there's nothing you can do to stop that.